Okay, once more into the depths. I guess we're already in the depths, aren't we? Let's find out. Anything we need to know here? So we still have a plus one to hit. Our base, our, our total, based on our strength and our magic enchantments on our thing, is, is plus one to hit, even though we have that armor that's dragging us down. But it was plus three to hit before, I believe, so... That kind of sucks. All right, we're going to look for stairs down, because we can, again, by my calculation... I like to be four levels higher in character level than depth. 350 is the equivalent of depth seven. Or 300, rather. Yeah, 350 is the equivalent of depth seven, so we can afford to get down one lower. P, A, G. And there's a staircase right there. Let's take it immediately. Head on down and see what we find. Okay, I'm going to double check to make sure I am using the sword. Yeah. Didn't want to risk discovering the heart. Do I have shoes and stuff yet? Yeah, I do. Uh, I didn't want to risk discovering I was wielding my pickaxe. Stupidly. There's no point in PAGing here. We like the fact that we're exploring this level. This is as deep as we want to go right now. I'll pull this rubble up in case there's something under it. Nope. Okay, I just wanted to see something. I wanted to see if the options had saved. Flask of oil. Might as well carry that. Spruce staff. Okay, a new staff we can try and sell. Hard studded leather. Might be worth some money. But our bar chain mail trumps it. Yeah, I just wanted to check and see if it had saved the options because I noticed we weren't seeing any of those um, mineral veins. But it could just be that we're in a region of the map that doesn't have mineral veins to worry about. There's an orc. Yeah, speaking of mineral veins. Is it just a generic orc? Yep. After we kill him, we should look and see what our uh, what our spells are. Iron spikes. I'll carry them for now. Why not? And a sling. Don't need it. Um, we should see what it is we're trying to learn. First of all, we still need to learn that, uh, or utilize that slow poison spell. But there's also Peru's Book B. Here's our new ones. These three are the ones we have available. Uh, this will blind a creature. Useful. This will teleport me a short distance away. Very useful. Cure medium wounds. Somewhat useful. These we don't have yet, so there's no point in even worrying about them right now. Maybe I'll try blinding the next creature I come across, just to learn that spell or to get the experience for, for that spell. Incidentally, after the... Uh, the last one, I remember uh, last round I, I mentioned the fact that we had gained back all the experience we lost to the Grape Jelly. That's not actually true. We're still one experience point below even what we need to catch back up. We had learned enough, when I said that, we had learned enough to uh, regain our character level at least. Uh, I was trying to cast light. Lost my concentration, but didn't matter because I'm not in a room anyway. I can't cast that uh, blindness thing yet because I my mana is a bit low for that. There's a lot of money in the walls here. All right. Switch to my shovel. Tunnel northeast. Oh, those are creeping copper coins coming at me. Switch back to my sword. Kill them. Gather the money. We love money. Okay. Given there was treasure in the wall, do you think there's any chance that that's indicative of the fact that there could be some deeper in? Again, in Angband, you can find treasure, frequently find treasure, buried deeper within uh, veins. I don't know if that's true here. I don't know how the map generator works, if it ever allows treasure to be generated in walls away from uh, a passenger floor. Um... We found our first ring and a cutlass. Let's grab the ring and let's grab the cutlass. And let's read our identify scroll. We still have one left to find out what this ring does. Because again, we don't want to risk putting it on if it's cursed. Let's find out what it does. Topaz ring. It's a ring of adornment. Um, I think it's literally just a, you know, a pretty ring. There's nothing magical about it. It's worth a little bit of money. We'll carry it for now, but they're not that valuable. So we can safely ditch it uh, later if we find something better, and I'm sure we will. Um, I was talking earlier about the 
my understanding of how you calculate how many swings you would get per round with a given weapon. Um, to the best of my knowledge, you look at your your strength or your dexterity. It looks like it's either or, whichever one's higher, I think. You look at its value, which in our case is 18, but you also add to it whatever's to the right of the slash, if there is something. So in this case, we'd have a base of 22 for this calculation. You then divide that number by the weight of the weapon. In this case, 14 gives us our total number of swings per turn, which would be one. It drops fractions, I think. Um, which means we can only swing that sword once per turn. When we had this up to 18, 20, 28, I think it was, what would that be? 28, 38, 46 divided by 14. If we're right about that, that should give us two swings per turn, if we can get our strength back. So it is worth restoring our strength, because two swings per turn is a pretty darn good thing to have. If I'm right about that, I don't know. That's what I the, the wording in the chart I was consulting was quite confusing. Um, but that's what it seemed to me to be. So again, our purpose in being down here right now is just level up, gather as much money as we can, so we can go upstairs and get some potions that'll restore our stuff. Um, here's another one of those vaults. Let's try a PAG and see where the secret doors are. Lost my damn concentration. All right, there's some. Let's rest. Getting hungry. Eat some rations. Continue resting. You see they're even getting hungry, interrupt their rest, because it doesn't want to let that pass by and not let you know. Now we're going to see if we can detect any traps. P-A-F. Nothing. I'm going to rest again, though, because I want to be able to cast Blind Creature when we get in there. As I'm sure there will be something in here. Guarding. Right, something coming. I didn't open that. They opened that. Is it something invisible? Nope. Greedy little gnome. I'm not going to cast the Blindness because I don't want to risk... Uh, Taking time with that. Those guys can steal from you again. That's the only thing that's in here. It's just some gnomish home. Unless there's like some sort of secret. Like, remember we walked around sometimes. It's like you overturned a stone and you found. I guess it's possible in there, but I'm not going to walk through every square to detect if that's true. I, didn't, I have no specific reason to suspect that that's any more likely in a vault than, than elsewhere. So no real point in doing so for the moment. What did it say there? It hits you, it touches you. Your wisdom is drained. God damn it, not again. It hits you. I'm at least fighting it. I know where it is. I'm going to fight it. <laughs> you son of a bitch. P-A. Oh, let's, let's actually use this advantage again to see if, uh, if our chance to fail has increased. It was down to five. Still at five here. I don't know if that means anything or not. I didn't notice what the Cure Light Wounds and stuff was before. I don't know. I don't have enough data to offer an assessment. There is a ghost here. It is specifically right there. If I move one to the left, hopefully it will move one down to confront me. And then if I attack northwest, it'll be there. But that's not the case. And it's not where it was. It is gone for the moment. It may have run away into the wall. I'm searching for doors. Those ghosts are tricky, man. They don't always, um... Son of a bitch. My backpack feels lighter. He actually stole something from my pack. What he got, I don't know. I'll look in a minute. For now, at least I killed him. It hits me. That means the ghost is back. Hopefully it's on the door. Nope. All right, let's see what he took. On the bright side, it wasn't one of my spell books. I don't know what he got offhand. I don't. I don't remember what I had. He didn't get my word of recall. Thank God. I don't know. Let's try and get out of here. There is money there that I want, but I'm not going to risk having my wisdom drained to get it. Am I using the right weapon? Yes. Let's pray and see where that guy is. There he is. Now let's pray again, see if he's chasing me. He is. I'm going to move 
more in line with where he was. Where was he? He's directly south of me. If I wait one turn, maybe he comes towards me. Wait one turn, maybe he comes towards me. I'm going to attack south. Didn't work. <laughs> He's freaking wise to me, that son of a bitch. Wasting all of my... He, he ran away a far away. Look where he is, down to the southeast. All right. The good news is he's gone for a moment. I'm going to actually risk this. Try and get that gold. Can't tunnel through that. That's not That's not gold. That's literally something in the passageway. Let's not go that way, though. We don't want to... P-A-A. He's still down to the southeast, but let's not go down there anymore. My wisdom is supposed to be 17. It's down to 10. We have to get a... What did I just find there? We have to get a potion to restore that. A wooden torch. Again, I'll carry it for the moment because maybe another greedy gnome will try and steal from us and he'll take the torch and I'll be like, haha, you got something I didn't want anyway. As you can see, the deeper you go, the more dangerous the monsters become. I've never gone anywhere near the bottom. Uh, from what I've read, there are some monsters that are so vicious that... You know, uh, it's it's a little bit crazy to think about even taking them on. I should consider keeping this metal shield. If it comes down to a, a choice of keeping this metal shield or keeping the leather shield that I just bought, metal shield weighs one pound less. Ruby ring. I don't have any more scrolls to identify, though, do I? So I'm not going to put that on. I will carry it. I will not drop it. Um, creeping silver coins. Um... So, uh, hopefully it's a good magic ring. I, fuck. Gotta move a little slower. It can touch to weaken. This guy can drain my strength. I am not fighting him. Let's get away from him. In some ways, the immobile creatures are more dangerous than the slow creatures. Because a slow creature, you can, uh, time to figure out, you know, when, when his attack comes versus when his attack doesn't come and you can sort of um, you know back off and do that that weird strike thing where you you hit them and then back off and then hit them and back off and they never actually get a chance to hit you with an immobile creature that's harder to do maybe impossible to do um but you can't readily tell moonstone ring um when is their chance to to attack versus back off until they attack you if they actually attack you i guess you could start timing it from that you could look and see how fast it's supposed to move and time it from that, but... Oh, fuck, this guy can do it too, can't he? But I can't get away from him. He can drain strength as well, as I recall. Out of curiosity, how much is he worth? 25.45 experience. He can touch to weaken. Man, I don't want him biting me. He bit me, but he didn't drain my strength that time. Did you say it can touch to weaken or bite to weaken? Bite to weaken. It's, maybe it's not automatic. Maybe that's my... my uh, if you remember, we do have these saving throws. Mine are very good. I guess partially based on your wisdom, actually, but I don't know that for sure. All right, it's dead. That was good. Um, is that a kid bug? Where's my cat making noises beside me? One of my cats. Not going anywhere near that ghost if I can avoid it, but let's go up here. Oh, I forgot about that. Jesus, am I that stupid? I'm that stupid. I forgot that was even there. You know what? Maybe we can buy it by tunneling through. Uh oh, something's coming from the north. I saw that door open. A zombie kobold. Interesting thing about this game, too, that it does have undead versions of standard monsters. It's not just, okay, you met a zombie. In Caverns of Zeskazian, you can meet skeletons, you can meet zombies, but you can't meet a skeletal kobold. That's kind of cool. At least at present, you can't. That may uh, that may change eventually. I like, I like the concept. It would complicate things somewhat. But I do like that concept. This had a neat idea about how I could apply rot and blood directly, specifically to, um, visually, to... Undead creatures of that type. Fuck, this one can bite to weaken as well. What is his speed and such? It doesn't take your turn to actually look at them. It moves erratically at normal speed. So I could back off until such time as I let it come towards me. Then I know it's... I guess that didn't help, did it? Alright, it's dead. That didn't help. 
There's a lot of creatures that can drain my stats here, and it's getting a, a bit hairy. I can't afford to have all my stuff constantly drained like that. It's getting nasty. Yeah, neat idea about how I could apply rot and blood visuals with an algorithm to uh, to zombified creatures, and maybe I can maybe I can do that. A blackened spot, you see. Oh, yeah, it was a I think a fire trap is what that is. Uh, can I I can try and disarm that fire trap's not going to hurt me other than draining my stats as far as I know. I failed. I don't mean draining my stats. Oh, I disarmed it that time. Got some experience for it. Let's rest here. I'm not draining my stats. I'm draining my hit points. I don't think it drained my stats themselves. So what do I really care? I can afford some hit point damage. Again, what are we trying to cast at some point? I should have cast Cure Meeting Moons. I should have used that ex excuse to do so. Next time I'm hurt, I will try and remember to do so. But for now, we are casting Light. Uh, or theoretically, we're casting light. We lost our concentration repeatedly. Go back in there and cast light. All right, there we go. There's a wand here. Nickel plated. All right, let's carry that for a while. Hmm. That's why you shouldn't run fast. Yellow worm mass. We don't want to mess with that. That's the guys who can drain our dexterity. There's just too many stat drainers on this level. It's a little bit crazy and terrifying. I'm going to forget they're there. I guarantee you at some point I will wander back over there blissfully ignorant of the fact that they are standing there waiting for me, having forgotten. Stairs of door and such location. I mean, I can carry those for now. At least they're stacking, but they're probably not valuable enough to merit carrying forever here. See, the problem is, I mean, I could get off this level. Go one deeper. Might be foolish. It goes against my rule of how deep I should go at this level, but um, there are a couple of stat trainers wandering around up here that I don't want to risk. There's that ghost guy somewhere. There's that those yellow worm masses. There was some sort of red jelly, right? I don't want to, uh... I don't want to risk bumping into them. Okay, let's kill this jackal. Let's cast for no reason. We'll cast our shift... No, not shift B. B. And is it C for cure... No, I don't remember. Let's do our asterisk. C for cure medium wounds. Let's cast it. Whoops, I didn't do that. Darn it. P, B, C. All right, I feel better. I cast it. I gained some experience. We're that much closer to leveling up. We need 37 more. We can probably level up fairly soon after we get down to this level. Don't forget, we don't have to climb all the way back. As long as we still have that word of recall, we do. As long as nothing gets it, we'll be okay. What do we know about a giant black bat? Nothing exciting. Let's kill it dead. Getting closer to leveling up. Getting money. More money. I'm going to rest here so we have our have our uh, mana back to full so we can blind whatever we meet next or portal away if it's something terrifying that we don't want to deal with. Before we head to the surface we'll definitely cast portal once just to just to have it done. A main ghost. Eh? Keep it to sell it for now. Gray speckled potion. Definitely keeping that. Stairs down. Not taking those. Hmm. It hits you. Something invisible again. It's a ghost. It fled way down there. Those things move faster. Maybe they teleport away. I have no idea if it's coming for me again. I lost my concentration trying to cast that simple spell. There it is. It might be coming for me. Well, let's just try and keep out of its way. 
I don't know if it's a stat drainer or not. That's the problem with that detect evil thing is uh, so uh, short lived that I can't even you know query a monster to learn about it. I have no idea what these different monsters are. They're just generally ghost type things. Perhaps a detect invisible spell would last longer. I've never cast one. I actually start keeping those potions or, or, or scrolls or even buy some of those scrolls so I can uh, better deal with these things. Maybe that'd be a wise investment. Again, we're getting down to a depth. I've, got, I've gotten past this depth. Um, down to about maybe 750 or maybe 800 feet. I think I've been down to 800. I don't think I've been much beyond that. So we're getting down towards a region where I have a lot less experience. And obviously, oh, yay. 2500 is where we need to head ultimately to, uh, let's refill our lantern. Shift F. There. Um, we had to get down to 2,500 feet, so there's a, a good section of this game where I have no clue what's down there. Let's cast our blindness spell here. Pray. B. I think it's A. A. Blind creature, which direction? North. The Grey Harpy appears confused. Welcome to level 12, because we got the experience for casting the spell. You can learn some new spells now. Let's not do it yet. Prayers. Let's kill this guy. Because he's confused, like he's just wandering around, right? That's a, that's a hell of a useful spell. That could be something I can pull on some of those uh, worm masses of stuff. That might be an answer to, to killing them and getting out of there. Uh, let's learn our new spell. The Spell of Sanctuary. Now, as far as I know, what that does is it... You know what? I, I could look it up. I'm going to look it up right now. Bear with me for a second. You can't see what I'm doing because I have my uh, recorder looking at the window uh, rather than looking at my screen. Um, but I'm opening the manual, and let me see if I can find the word sanctuary so we know exactly what it does so we're not feeding you false information. Here's what it does. Uh, causes neighboring monsters to fall asleep for a while. That would be very useful. Interesting. Interesting. Also noting... Huh. All right, coming back in here. Uh, let's take a look at P... Whoops. No, not... Try, try a holy book of prayers, words of wisdom. I don't even know what that means. P... B. Uh, incidentally... Interesting. Um, two things I want to tell you incidentally. One is... P A E. Ah, for God's sakes. Um, let's back out of here and rest. Um, one is... To peruse the book, we press Shift-P and B, right? If I do Shift-P, Shift-B, it says try a holy book of prayers wisdom. Yes or no. I don't know what that does, so I'm not going to risk it. Um, it might be like f trying to force yourself to gain a spell that you don't have access to or something. I have no idea. I don't know what that does, and I'm not going to risk doing it in case it causes a problem. Um, who is this guy? Green Jelly. So he can... He can cause... Um, he can corrode if he hits us. Now, we can't put him to sleep. It tells you right here... Ow, pain. Uh, sorry, I just have a cramp. It tells us right here that he can't be charmed or put to sleep. So... We're not going to be able to uh, use that new spell on him, the one that um, would have theoretically um, let us deal with him. Um, and I'm not sure that the confusion one, the blindness one, will help either because he doesn't move, right? So the best bet for him, I think, as a rule, is to stay away from him. Uh, let me just grab this. Cat of Nine Tails, not a very good weapon. I will grab this money because it's not next to him, and I will just literally walk away from him. He's not mobile, so he's not a threat. And I'm not going to make him a threat by approaching him. Oh, fuck, I was using the wrong goddamn weapon that whole time again. I am not at my finest this morning. I haven't been drinking. But I would forgive you for thinking I had, because I'm playing just terribly. And surviving via blind luck. Via. What's this guy? Novice warrior, no problem. I can deal with him casually. More money on the wall. We definitely want some of that. 
get as much money as we can because we have so many potions we need to buy to fix ourselves up here. Not to mention we'll probably be heading towards a new spell book soon too, or cruising through the existing prayer book we have. Let's see here. Um, what is that over there? A bronze amulet. Okay, an amulet. We can wear two rings and one amulet. So let's grab this and we'll carry it for now. We can't carry it for now. Let's drop our cat of nine tails, right? Not worth very much. I don't think, unless it's magical, and I don't know that it is. Let's drop it. Take the bronze amulet. So hopefully we'll get up top and identify those and find out they're quite good. In Rogue, I to, here's something else I have to look up. In Rogue, as opposed, well, maybe not as opposed to Moria, perhaps also in Moria, but in Rogue for sure, wearing a ring or wearing an amulet makes you digest your food faster. It's kind of a weird conceit. Blue or mass, I don't care about them. Um, it's kind of a weird idea uh, in terms of logic, um, but not in terms of gameplay. It just it gives you an excuse to say why you uh, might not want to wear them, I guess. Maybe it makes you too powerful, I don't know. Okay, uh, this guy can frighten us. We don't want to go near him yet. He can only do it adjacently. So let's kill off this guy before we deal with him. Skeleton orc. Again, neat, neat that it's a... I would prefer the term a skeletal orc. But I understand what they're doing there. Let's, um... Maybe I can put him to sleep. Let's just find out. P, B, no, not shift B, P, B, and we want to try to use sanctuary, E. I lost my concentration, he missed me, let's just kill him then. I hit him, I hit him, I hit him, he hits me, I'm suddenly afraid, you can see that down here. Now if I try to attack him, it'll be like, you're too scared. He hits me again, so I shouldn't demonstrate that to you. But if I back off, I'm okay. As long as he doesn't hit me. He can't make me afraid, and if he does, I'll just back off and wait until it's gone. As long as there's nothing else around that I have to deal with. If something else shows up, that could be a deadly proposition. Let's rest here. Okay. <clears throat> Once again, we're getting near the point where we're going to call this video done. When we do return, we will just continue exploring this level. There's no point in going back to the surface yet. We want to accumulate a lot more money. Keep leveling up. Speaking of money, oh, it's creeping silver coins. Good. Get both money and experience out of this. Thank you, Creeping Silver Coins, for approaching me. You gave me all the things I wanted in life. I still need to get that slow, the neutralized poison underway, too. I wonder if I can... Let's just do an experiment. Let's find out if we can cast it. A. Eh? Let's find out if we can cast slow poison. Apparently I can. Um, I didn't notice if my experience went up. I assume it did. So I guess you don't have to wait for a circumstance to be ideal before you can use... Uh, a given spell. In caverns, for instance, if you tried to cast Cure Poison and you were not poisoned, I believe, uh, I believe it would tell you you're not poisoned, so there's no point. It's a light green mushroom. Now, the mushrooms function very much like, um, let's drop our <laughs> sling. No, torch with pitiful light. Um, mushrooms are food. If you eat them, you will satiate your hunger to some degree. Um, but mushrooms also always carry a secondary effect. Uh, a, the, the, the f they don't function great as food. They don't give you a lot of uh, hunger uh, neutralization. It hits you. There's another goddamn invisible guy here, and I don't know if he's a, a drainer. So let's, oh, Fuck, there's something coming from the south. Um, the, the mushrooms do not fill you very much, but they're better than nothing if you're starving. But they also do have a side effect, and the side effect is sometimes a good effect and sometimes a bad effect, and I don't mean it's randomized when you eat it. Um, but the light green mushroom is like a potion. Until we've identified it, we don't know what effect the light green mushroom has, so... Oh, fuck. Worth carrying uh, with us. Oh, it's a blue guy. I don't care about a blue guy. Um, worth carrying with us until we can... Yeah, they, they've bred in here. I should kill them off. Oh, they're breeding fast, aren't they? Here's where I should be casting my Sanctuary spell. 
Maybe I can put them all to sleep. Or both to sleep. E. Unaffected. One of them fell asleep. One of them was unaffected. Or one of them is dead. I should also be casting a light spell so I can see where they all are. No, they think me presumptuous for that. Damn it. Doing my attack and back away method. Shit. I don't know if that guy to my left is... Oh, it's just, a, it's just a, literally a skeleton of a dead gnome. It's not a... Not a skeleton I need to worry about. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, damn it. Let's get out of here for a minute. Let's go far away so they stop breeding, hopefully. Now let's rest to get all of our magic back. Then we'll go back in this room and we will cast light. So at least we can see what we're dealing with. Okay, there's a lot of them. At least they're blue and they're not the they're not the stat drainers. How much are they worth? Is it worth my time doing this? Not very much either, eh? Fuck, there's more coming. Um pray B E was it? No, I'm not doing that. You know what? Let's just get away from these guys. They're not worth enough to merit standing there. I don't know that they're decidedly a threat other than their numbers. But the fact that they're blue, I think they can uh I think that said they could f they could freeze you. Often the color indicates that. Not always. Like red is often drain strength, blue is often um freeze. Neither of those things are universally true, mind you. I guess I could have examined them. Oh, I slain slew something invisible there. Got some money out of it too. Um but I'm not going to stand there and risk it. What if they start shattering my potions that I'm trying to get back to the surface to um, to have identified? Then it's a big old waste of stuff that could have been useful. I'll show you something else there. Um, I, I've mentioned this before, I believe. Uh, sometimes when you're dealing with something, it gives you a, a more option, right? It, when you're dealing even with combat damage, it says like more. You can press space or enter. Maybe only space or enter to dismiss that... that uh, statement. It's not any key, for sure. Um, but you can also, when you when you press enter and you're not doing anything, it says you tunnel into the granite wall. I don't know what that, like, I, I know what it means. It means it's tunneling into a granite wall. As to which granite wall I'm tunneling into, if it's random or if it's, you know what, let's, let's switch to our shovel and press enter a lot and see if it suddenly, you know, tunnels into one of these walls. Apparently not. I don't know if it's I don't know if it's a mistake in the coding that it's saying that, or if it's a. Do you want to drop anything to carry that thing? Uh, I will drop the sling. Drop you. Um. Yeah, I don't know if it's a mistake in the coding that's saying that. I can't carry that. I don't want that. What was getting hungry? Let's see, not eating the mushroom. Did it tell me I was hit by something? No. Oh, you may I slew a blue yeek. A blue yeek? Now, if we have to go back through that worm mass room, screw that action. I'm not doing it. Um, let's try PAG here. Eh, that didn't help us too much right now. But we can try PAG in here and see if there's a secret door out of here. Nope. But what we can do, switch to our shovel and start tunneling north. That way at least we don't have to go through the room with all those blue worm masses. Make our own entrance. It's like Minecraft. I'm holding down the tunnel button, by the way. That's why it's flickering like that at the top. Okay. Where are we here? Northwest might yield some results. Let's try PAG in here. Nothing. Let's go up here and try it. Nothing. Not seeing anything. Let's rest here enough that we get our mana back. And then try it here. Oh, it hits you. God damn it, another invisible thing. There it is. I don't know if I can hit it in the wall. I don't know if I'm allowed to hit it in the wall. I don't know if, you, if it's automatically you can't do it because it thinks you're trying to move into the wall. 
Let's try our uh, detection spell if it works. There's no secret doors up here. We don't need to be up here. Let's just get away from this area. I don't know if we try PAGing down here. Let's rest one more time and uh, and we'll try it one more. Fuck, it hits me. Where the hell is it hitting me from? Here, I killed it. <clears throat> it was to my north. 35 bolts. Those actually might be worth some money, but I can't do this yet. Let's rest. I think maybe I should invest in some detect invisible scrolls or something. It's starting to seem like that might be a wise plan, yeah? Is there anything I can drop to carry this that might be more valuable? I think they'd be more valuable than the iron spikes. So let's drop V. Yeah. Let's grab the bolts. All right. We should also invest in a crossbow at some point because, you know, uh, it gives us an option for a ranged attack if we uh, if we decide we want to go that route. Are we ready to go down yet? I don't think we should necessarily. What is our character like right now? We need another 60 experience, and then we can go down a level alleged, according to my calculations there. This has also become a rather long video, so I'm going to save it right here. Um, when I return, I will decide whether or not to go down or to keep exploring this level or to go up and come back down or something. I don't know. Talk to you soon.